Here an inadequately contoured LCP fixed in a conventional way is shown. When the last screws are tightened into the poorly contoured plate, the fracture dislocates. This disadvantage does not arise if an LCP with locking head screws is used. Therefore, this plate does not have to be pre-shaped absolutely anatomically. The LCP has been slightly bent at the distal end. The plate with the LCP drill sleeve screwed into the most distal hole as a handle is gently inserted and slid along the medial aspect of the tibia. As the locking head screws cannot be angled, Care must be taken when positioning the plate to prevent screw penetration of the joint. Moving proximally, the plate does not touch the bone, nor will it need any additional contouring or torque. The most distal hole is drilled with the 4.3 mm drill bit through the drill sleeve that has served as an insertion handle. The drill sleeve is removed and the length is measured with the depth gauge. The green self-tapping locking head screw is inserted with the torque limiting screwdriver attached to the power drive. The last turns have to be done by hand to prevent the thread from jamming, so the power drill is exchanged for the handle of the screwdriver. At this point, if the other end of the plate is not well secured, the helicopter effect will be created. Therefore, before completely tightening the first screw, the plate is fixed to the bone using the most proximal screw hole. The LCP drill sleeve is gently screwed into the threaded part of the combination hole. To make sure that the sleeve has been placed correctly, its purchase in the screw hole has to be checked. Here it is moved sideways, which means that it has to be reinserted. Once the thread has found a firm hold in the plate, the sleeve will not move. The second sleeve is fixed into the fourth hole from the top. Holding the plate firmly with the sleeve, a 4.3 mm hole is drilled bicortically through the most proximal plate hole. The drill sleeve is removed and the screw length is measured with the depth gauge. A self-tapping locking head screw is inserted. The screw head is locked in the plate by hand with the torque limiting screwdriver. When the maximum of four newton meters is reached, a click <coughs> is heard and felt. The screw in the most distal hole is now tightened. The hole for the second bicortical screw in the proximal fragment is prepared. The screw length is measured. The appropriate screw is inserted. It's clear that the plate is not pressed against the bone, leaving a gap for the periosteum and healthy tissue ingrowth. To finish the fixation, one more locking head screw is introduced in the distal main fragment. A simple type A tibia fracture in the distal metaphysis has been anatomically reduced and fixed by an independent lag screw, protected by an LCP applied as a purely internal fixator. In the area of the fracture, the plate does not interfere with the periosteal blood supply since it's not pressed against the bone surface.